Hey fabulous fourth graders, today is day two of communicating with patterns. So yesterday you thought of some different ways that you could communicate with a pattern without speaking. So how could you talk to other people using a pattern without speaking? So there are many different ways to do this. Some of these you may have even heard of, and some you may have not. They, miss, they might be something extremely new to you. The first example I wanna talk about is ASL. Um, this is what we call American Sign Language. There, of course, is sign language for other languages as well. But this pattern uses different hand motions and arm motions in order to communicate for people who are deaf or are hard of hearing. So that is a pattern that people have come up with in order to continue to communicate without speaking. Another thing we could use is drumming patterns to communicate. Now, you may have done something similar to this in music. I've seen where Miss Holmes has had you drum certain patterns for yes or for no or for one word or another word. So you are using patterns on a drum to communicate your answer to different questions. The last two on this list are binary code and Morse code. Miss Floyd is going to take you on a little tour the next two days of binary code and Morse code. So I'm not going to go too deep into these, but binary code is using the alphabet, but it's changing the alphabet into numbers, zero and a pattern of zeros and ones in order for people to communicate. We typically see binary code in computers. So computers use this in order to communicate with other computers. And then we have Morse code or a little bit of a tapping code. So there are different ways that you can tap your finger or flash a light or click something like a pin in certain patterns in order to communicate with somebody else who also knows Morse code. The focus for tomorrow is going to be binary code only. So Miss Floyd is going to focus only on binary code. She's really going to break down those zeros and ones and help you to understand why people might use this type of communication instead of speaking to one another. Your exit slip. I want you to head to Google Classroom and I want you to think about the following question and answer it. Which way do you think would be the easiest to communicate with someone? So we listed four different ways. We said ASL or American Sign Language. We said tapping pat or drumming patterns. We said binary code. And we also said Morse code. So which one of these ways do you think would be the easiest to communicate with somebody else? All right, fabulous fourth graders, have a great rest of your day and make sure that you stay thinking.